Have you ever wondered what humans will look like a million years from now? A question that sparks curiosity, a thought that piques the imagination. We begin this journey of exploration and discovery by stepping back to understand the concept of evolution. Evolution is a process that has shaped life on Earth for billions of years. It's a grand tapestry of gradual changes, adaptations, and transformations. It's the story of how we, as humans, have come to be. From the first simple life forms in the ancient oceans, through countless iterations of plants and animals, we arrive at the varied and complex life we see today. The driving force behind this incessant change is natural selection, an elegant and powerful mechanism. It favors traits that aid survival and reproduction, slowly sculpting species over generations. We, humans, are a testament to this process. Our ancestors stood upright, freeing their hands to use tools. They developed larger brains, enabling complex thought, language and culture. All these changes were gradual, taking millions of years, but they have fundamentally shaped who we are. Now, let's turn our gaze forward. What does the future hold for human evolution? Will we continue to change and adapt? Will natural selection still guide our path? Or will we take the reins, directing our own evolution through genetic engineering and technological augmentation? As we peer into the unknown, we can make educated guesses based on current trends. Perhaps we'll become more intelligent, more resilient, more adaptable. Perhaps we'll transcend our organic forms, merging with machines and becoming something entirely new. However, predicting the future is a tricky business. It's filled with uncertainty and countless variables. After all, a million years is a long, long time. It's longer than our species, Homo sapiens, has even existed. As we look towards the future, the question remains, what will humans become a million years from now? It's a fascinating question, one that encourages us to dream, to speculate, and to explore the endless possibilities that lie ahead. So let's embark on this journey together into the unseen future of human evolution. Evolution, the silent puppeteer, has been shaping life on Earth for billion years. Let's start with a simple analogy. Imagine evolution as an artist, constantly sketching and erasing, trying to perfect its creation. Now, the artist's tools are natural selection and genetic mutation. Natural selection is the process by which traits that enhance survival and reproduction become more common in successive generations. It's akin to the artist's sharp eye selecting the best features to enhance the artwork. On the other hand, genetic mutation is like the artist's spontaneous stroke of the brush, introducing an unexpected twist in the artwork. These are changes in an organism's DNA its genetic blueprint that create variation within a species. Some of these mutations might be harmful, while others could confer an advantage, perhaps a better resistance to disease or a stronger physique. Together, natural selection and genetic mutation have been the primary drivers of evolution, guiding the development and diversification of life on Earth. From the tiniest microbes to the largest mammals, all life forms bear the mark of these twin forces. Through this process, species have adapted and evolved over millions of years. Some have developed complex survival strategies, like the camouflage of a chameleon or the speed of a cheetah. Others have evolved intricate social structures like the cooperative colonies of ants or the complex language of dolphins. And then there's us, Homo sapiens. The story of our evolution is a testament to the power of these forces. We've developed from early hominids, who were more ape than human, to modern humans capable of complex thought, language and culture. Our brains have evolved to be larger and more complex, our bodies have become more upright, and our manual dexterity has improved dramatically. This process hasn't stopped. It's ongoing even now. Every new generation is a fresh canvas for evolution's artistry shaped by the relentless forces of natural selection and genetic mutation. Evolution, therefore, has been and will continue to be the architect of life. Our ancestors, the early Homo sapiens, looked quite different from us. When we journey back in time, around 200,000 years ago, we find the birth of our species, Homo sapiens. 
These early humans weren't as we are today. They had a more robust build and a smaller brain capacity. But we are all part of the same family tree and these are our direct ancestors. The evolution of Homo sapiens is a fascinating story, a tale of survival and adaptation. As our ancestors migrated out of Africa and into different environments worldwide, they had to adapt to survive. And the key to this survival was evolution. One of the most significant changes in our evolution was the increase in brain size. Early Homo sapiens had a brain capacity of around 1200 cubic centimeters. Over time, this increased to about 1400 cubic centimeters in modern humans. Now, a bigger brain doesn't necessarily mean more intelligence, but it does allow for more complex thinking, problem solving and innovation. Another major shift was our transition to an upright posture. This was a game changer. Walking erect freed our hands, allowing us to make and use tools, carry food and children, and interact with our environment in new ways. It didn't happen overnight, but gradually, over hundreds of thousands of years. Then there's language, perhaps the most profound development in our evolution. Language enabled us to share knowledge, to teach and learn from each other. It allowed us to form larger social groups, to cooperate and to build societies. Without language, we wouldn't have culture and without culture, we wouldn't be human. But it's not just our physical characteristics that evolved. Our behavior, our social structures, even our emotions have all been shaped by evolution. We've gone from small bands of hunter-gatherers to complex, interconnected societies from fearing the dark to exploring the stars. Our journey from early Homo sapiens to present day humans is a testament to the power of evolution. And as we look to the future, the story of our evolution is far from over. Our past is a roadmap to our future, a future that's as exciting and mysterious as our beginnings. Predicting the future of human evolution isn't an easy task, but then who doesn't love a good challenge? The first hurdle that we face is the sheer unpredictability of evolution. Evolution isn't a linear process with a definite start and end. It's more like a tree branching out in all directions. Some branches grow longer and stronger while others wither and die. And the factors that determine which branch thrives and which doesn't are often beyond our control. Adding to this complexity is the role of technology. Since the dawn of time, Humans have been using tools to adapt to their environment. But the pace of technological advancement has skyrocketed in the past few centuries. From the wheel to the World Wide Web, each invention has had a profound impact on our lives and by extension, our evolution. But the technology of the future could take this to a whole new level. Imagine genetic engineering that allows us to eliminate diseases from our DNA or cybernetic enhancements that merge man and machine. These technologies could redefine what it means to be human and steer our evolution in directions we can't even imagine today. Then there's the question of the environment, climate change, pandemics, asteroid impacts. Who knows what surprises Mother Nature has in store for us? Each of these events could drastically alter our evolutionary path for better or worse. And finally, there's the wild card, the unknown unknowns, the factors that we can't even conceive of right now. Who could have predicted the internet or the smartphone a hundred years ago? The same could be true for the next hundred or thousand or million years. So, as you can see, predicting the future of human evolution is less like reading a book and more like solving a jigsaw puzzle with an infinite number of pieces, some of which haven't even been created yet. While it's difficult to predict the future, we can make educated guesses based on past and present trends. And that's exactly what we'll be doing in the next part of this journey. So buckle up, because we're about to take a wild ride into the future. Imagine a world a million years from now. Our journey through time continues and we have now arrived a million years into the future. What will humans look like? How will we behave? Let's engage in a little speculative evolution, shall we? Firstly, let's consider our physical form. With the relentless march of technology, 
it's plausible that our bodies will have adapted to a life increasingly intertwined with machines. Perhaps we'll be taller, with the longer fingers to better manipulate complex devices. Maybe our eyes will be larger to help us see in the dim light of our digital screens. It's even possible that our brains will be bigger to accommodate the sheer volume of information we'll need to process in this hyper-connected future. But physical changes are only part of the story. Our cognitive abilities could also undergo a significant transformation. Just as our ancestors developed language and reasoning skills to survive in their world, we might evolve new mental capacities to thrive in ours. We could become masters of multitasking, able to juggle multiple streams of information simultaneously. Our memory might become more flexible, allowing us to store and retrieve data in ways we can't even imagine today. And what about our behavior? With a world increasingly shaped by technology, we might become more collaborative, relying on each other's expertise to navigate complex systems. We could also become more adaptable, able to quickly learn new skills as the world around us changes. Of course, these are just possibilities. The reality could be vastly different, shaped by factors we can't anticipate today. The environment, for instance, is likely to have a profound impact on our evolution. If the climate continues to change, we might have to adapt to hotter temperatures, scarcer resources, and more extreme weather conditions. And what about the influence of technology? Will it continue to shape our evolution, or will we reach a point where we can direct our own evolution, designing our bodies and minds to our own specifications? Only time will tell what we will become, and the journey is far from over. The future of human evolution is a captivating mystery waiting to unfold.